All right, I need to open this door. Invincibility frames are always good. These guys are really being gentlemen about this, though. They're, like, letting me do what I'm doing. All right. So I'll fight you guys one at a time. Can I make you a deal there? Like, I don't want to fight you both. I feel like I'm really just putting myself in the doghouse doing that. Can I, can I get, like, a good old-fashioned... All right, well, I guess I lost him. Okay, well, one of them just, like, immediately saw me up here. Is it that guy? Did he see me? Oh, it's this old lady. I forgot this old lady, like, gives away my position to the other enemies. All right. Are you the only guy who knows where I'm at? Because if this isn't about to be a 2v1, then I'm okay with that. I'll fight to the death. There we go. Look at this rhythm. I'm in the perfect rhythm now, baby. Staying alive. Oh, God. Look. <laughs> All right. Speak of the devil. <clears throat> I'm really glad this guy didn't decide to intervene in that last fight. That was pretty nice of him. Huh. 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 Oh, God. He's, he's getting his fucking groove back. He's getting his groove back. Oh, God. He is really getting his groove back. Please just die. You son of a bitch. Just die. There we go. Oh, that was stressful. I mean, I could have resurrected, so it wouldn't have really been a death, but... Still stressful nonetheless. Alright. I could have swore there was, like... One of these rooms has a special secret. I think it might be this. Yeah, there you go. Push on this wall, and we get this cool treasure room. What is in the cool treasure room, you may ask? Aside from a bunch of coin purses. How much money do I have? Like, I still, I'm still saving up 2,000 for that healing gourd. But I'm pretty sure I have enough now. In terms of, like, you know, everything I need. So there's a prayer bead. I think that's everything that's in here. And now, I can go back and get that uh, healing gourd, which I'll do momentarily. Once I'm finished exploring. When I'm done, you'll know. An item on the steps here? What is this? Amiibo Balloon of Wealth. I could I could always use those for when I'm trying to farm up some more money, too. Oh, great, this area. I forgot about this area. This area is kind of tricky. Uh, because there's no way to aggro one of these guys without aggroing all of them. So here's what I'm going to try and do. Try and, like, kite them through here, and then, like, okay, well, that kind of, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. I don't think I did, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. I didn't get the, the intended result there. It could have been worse, though. Oh, I didn't mean to Ichimonji him. Whatever. Worse things have happened with worse outcomes. Oh, God. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Where's that other guy at? All right. Have some flame vent, you jerk. All right. Yeah, you guys aren't really a big fan of the old flame vent, I can I see. Oh, God. Get away from me. I'm trying to attack the other guy, you jerk. Don't fucking stonewall me. What the fuck is this? I didn't mean to... I keep itchy monjing on accident. There we go. He's dead. I can't get a death blow because we're on the stairs. Nothing works right when you're on the stairs. Holy shit. Alright, well, he's the last guy, so this shouldn't be too tough. This should not be, like, an ultimate shitting on my life moment. There we go. He's dead. He is dead. Cool. Alright. So, one thing that I need to get that I kind of forgot about, like a skill is Breath of Life Light. Hopefully I don't need to do any farming for that. Anyway, there's an eel liver, which I think you can use for shock damage. Or, like, if you're taking shock damage, it'll help. Uh, we get Ishin's letter, a note left by Ishin in the Watchtower. Perhaps Emma knows his current whereabouts. Dear Emma, the Ashina Castle Gate has grown loud with the sound of scurrying. Uh, the Tengu will see to the rats, worry not. He's talking about Tengu, the guy that we met earlier. We ended up dealing with uh, some of those rats for him. Because of that quest that he gave us. The hell is this? Oh, it's like a smoke signal. 
Okay. I need to, like, go over there and grab this. Grab this extra special looking item. What is it? It's Gachin Sugar. Which uh, makes it harder, or makes it easier for you to sneak around undetected. Have I been down? Yeah, I think I've been down there. Maybe not. I feel like I would die if I just jumped down there from here. So, I need to go back into the building, because there's something else I need to do in there anyway. So, let me just use a... Should I use a Homeward Idol? Probably not. Using a Homeward Idol might actually make this a little bit harder. Because it'll, resp it'll respawn stuff. Actually, it might not. I think you actually need to rest for stuff to respawn, but... I'm going to do this anyway. I kind of want to rest to get my stuff back, but at the same time, it's kind of tit for tat with difficulty because it's it's just going to respawn stuff and that'll make it harder in its own way. So down here we go and grapple to that. Um, now the way that you want to do this, from what I can remember, is you want to get like a drop attack on this guy because he's the guy that's good. And then, oh god. These guys will generally be a little bit easier. Okay, well, I missed my little death blow there. That sucks. Yeah, you die. Oh, God, this is terrible. Okay, he's dead. All right, well, that went from, like, really bad to really good in, the, in a matter of seconds. I love it when that happens. I love it when, when a plan comes together. That wasn't even really a plan coming together. That was just, that was just plain good luck for the most part. All right, what's in the chest? What's in the chest? We get Sabamaru. That's our next prosthetic. How good is it? Uh, well, it's it's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst, I guess. Also, I'm looking for a door, a specific door. I think it might be over here. I think this is it. Yeah, here's the, here's the shortcut. This shortcut leads us back out to where we fought that guy on the stairs. There we go. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And now we've got like... What the fuck? That, dude, that scared the shit out of me. Did you see that? What the fuck kind of haunting, scary, terrifying nonsense was that? The guy like got up... His body was like reanimated for a second. And then he just fell back down and dead like that was disturbing I didn't like, I didn't like that let the record show I I was not a fan of what just happened there oh boy now we got this area uh there might also be another secret door down here I feel like I'm missing another secret door like another secret shinobi door that I can, like, lean on and open up. Let's see. It's not this, is it? I can't even hug this wall. No, it's not that. Um, I mean, generally, they're pretty obvious looking. But I do feel like I'm missing another one. Because there's a bunch in this little area. There are a bunch of hidden doors that will lead you to treasure rooms um there might not be in here though I don't think I'm missing it alright so now we're out here in this beautiful pond also I'm pretty sure there's a boss fight like in the depths of this pond but to fight it you need to unlock the ability to swim underwater which is something we'll be doing later alright what's going on down there uh, can I shrook in that guy? Uh, he is... Okay, no, apparently not. Is that a spear guy? Yeah, that's a spear guy. Get your ass over here. I already fought you in, in boss form. Oh, fuck. That was a sweep attack. I forgot the spear guys can do those. Hey, well, I don't want to fight, like, everybody in town. Like, come on. I just want to fight the spear guy, you fucking dickweed. Get out of my shit. Ugh. Kill this guy. 
Yeah, that was brutal. All right. He dropped a heavy coin purse, though, so that was good. Eh. Man, if you deflect that one attack where they, like, press themselves forward on the sword, you have literally got it made. Guys suck. All right. Do a couple of pellets. I don't use pellets enough. All right, is there someone coming around the corner? There sure as fuck is. I'm going to be ready with my patented ambush. <clears throat> Who is that? Look at this ugly fuck nugget. This guy is going to know what it means to get axed a question. Bam! Get fucking axed a question. That did like nothing. God, the loaded axe sucks. It gets a little bit better when you upgrade it, but like, yeah, it's it's kind of eh. Also, this guy is the very first boss of the game that we fought. Or at least it's the same type of enemy. And we made very short work of him that time. There's an idol over here. I'll go explore the idol. Sure. And by explore, I mean rest. There's really not much to explore. I might be able to acquire that skill that I want now. Breath of Life Light. Let's see. Oh, I need five skill points for this. Holy shit. I've got my work cut out for me. Alright then. So, I need to go back over here anyway. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Can I get a stealth kill on one of these guys? I don't think I can get up there. It looks a little high up. Let's see. Yeah, that guy's gonna go pathing. This guy's gonna get death blowed. That guy didn't hear anything. Little spear guy didn't hear shit. Alright. What does he drop? He drops Goken sugar. So I guess that guy just drops good items every time you kill him. That's pretty pretty neat to know. Do 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 eavesdrop. You're saying we don't have enough salt? Also, this is the solution to the side quest that the Aniyama the Peddler gave us earlier in the game. So now finally we can go report to him the good news about what the Ashina Samurai want. All they want is salt. They just want the, the salt. Need to find a way to get some salt. I have a way to get you guys some salt. Too bad I'm about to kill you. So it doesn't really matter. Haha! <laughs> I say, how did that guy not notice that? Do a move. There you go. Do a move, any move. I don't care what kind of move you do. Just, ow, shit. I need to get the fuck out of here. This guy actually hurts a little bit. The first boss of the game has gotten a, a bit of a boost of, of damage. Oh no, he's doing a posture buff. Why would you do that in the middle of the fight? Ooh. I deflected his kick of justice. Ow, I keep like fucking that up though. Oh no, no grab attack for you. No grab attack for you. Yeah. Please kill him. There we go. I was like, get the damn death blow. <laughs> Just keeps whacking him. Alright, wow, can this guy like not shoot me if I'm like right here? Yep, he just gets stuck on the, the bridge. Sucks to be you, Mr. Hitboxes, haha. <laughs> Alright, now we're three skill points. Two more skill points and I can get Breath of Life light. All I need to do is not die as we're farming these bad boys up. Also, here's an area that we're not really going to be spending much time in just yet. I guess I could go like item grabbing and stuff. I don't really remember what all is over here. Aside from like, okay, well there's spirit emblems. Those are always handy. What the fuck? Oh yeah, there's monkeys here. Dude, when I saw all those enemy things light up a second ago, that like really worried me. I was like, holy shit, there's a lot of enemies here. Okay, I'm still not. I'm still gonna be careful. The monkeys are nothing to scoff at. Come here, monkey. Ugh. There we go. Damn, that was a fucked up way to kill a monkey. Sword through the mouth, like through the face. Ouch. Poor little curious George. Alright. So yeah, we're not going to be doing much in this area just yet. I know that. We'll be coming back here later, but there is an idol. Well, might as well pick up the idol.